my sister, what do I want most? Please turn my bread into toast. Well, as your older sister and host, I shall humbly abide and try not to boast. <laughs> I got carried away. Sincere apology. Here with your lovely laser-like life lesson to loyally illuminate our Lord and leader. Let's hit that clock below. One, two, three. Go! Ow, that's hot, yo. Rabbi Shema Barakai, known as Rosh B, renounced the Romans and had to flee. After the study hall had proven dangerously, he ran to a cave with Rabbi Lazar by his knee. Miraculously, came a water spring and a carob tree for them to drink and eat nutritiously. They learned all day, studied Torah intensely, buried in sand to preserve clothing. They did agree. Twelve years later, news came from Eliyahu Hanavi that Caesar Yochai from life became an expiree. When the couple came out from cave captivity, peered people plowing with world to come forsakingly. With their eyes gazed upon, heated up, lyrically, immediately incinerated everything, blazing, blastingly. Heaven heralded, did and you decide to do this destructively? Get back in your cave for 12 months' time out, contemplatively. This time again saw people livelihood, workingly. Rev Elazar's fiery eyes burnt, but Rav B worked healingly. Our diligent devotion is dominating dutifully, but others are good as well. Don't need to be like us, duplicating me. Two life lessons we learn from this story to apply to our own lives, to be betteringly. One, don't hate the play. Hate the game intensely. Two, try to find goodness in each and every action. Especially! Boom! 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 That's it!